It's a great pleasure to have you again, dear grade 12 students, in this video about vocabulary of module 2A, page 24. There are two objectives to achieve in this video. Number one is to correct the form of the given words to suit the context. And number two is to form collocations and use them correctly in the given sentences. Before you start, as usual, prepare your student book, page 24, exercises A, B, C, and D, your copy book, in order to add every new word or expression or collocation to your word list, in addition to a dictionary, either a hard copy or an online one. Are you ready? In exercise A, you are going to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verbs right here. More than one answer can be correct, okay? Please pause and answer the questions from one to six. And once you have finished, please continue. Done? Pay attention to the present simple right here, okay? Also pay attention to the subjects because the two subjects here are in the third person singular. This is why the form of the verb will change. Have you done number one? Your answer, please. Exactly. My brother works at a sports center and teaches. So we have added ES to the verb teach right here. And if we use instruct, we will add only S. Instructs people how to use the equipment. We can use the verb teach because teach means to show somebody how to do something by themselves. We can also use instruct because instruct means to teach somebody something, especially when it is a practical skill like using this equipment. How about number two? Samantha is in her final year at university and your answer and studies at least five hours a day. What happened to the form of the verb? What happened to the why? Okay, do you understand the change of the form? Study means to spend time learning about a subject by reading. Okay, let's continue. Are you ready with numbers three, four, five, and six? Take care of the form of the verbs you are going to use after to and after the model right here, but it will be different right here. Your answer please to number three, the organization is trying to exactly to educate people about the benefits of recycling. If you are going to use a preposition with verb educate, you can use about. So educate means to teach somebody about something. We teach somebody something, but we educate somebody about something. Number four, can you, your answer, can you teach me how to do that trick with the football? The tricks of football, the things that Leo Messi always do. Number five, I try to to read a few pages from my new book last night, but I fell asleep. To read means to go through the pages, either silently, silent reading, or loudly, trying to understand them. How about number six? Tim is, your answer, take care of the form as I told you. Tim is exactly learning some Spanish phrases for his trip to Mexico next week. This is called present progressive or present continuous tense. Learn means to gain knowledge by being taught. If you are being taught something or if you are studying something. So when you are going to learn a phrase, a Spanish phrase like, like muchas gracias. I'm teaching you now. You are being taught muchas gracias. And if you repeat it, you are studying it. Okay, next. For the next group of sentences from 7 to 10, we've got four words. Goal, purpose, 
intention and ambition. Please pause, use your dictionary to study the difference between the four words. Take your time and then once you have finished, please follow. Number seven, what's your answer? I have no, exactly, I have no intention of wasting. We can say intention to waste. I have no intention of wasting more of my time here. I have studying to do. When there is a belief inside you or a desire, there must be an intention to do this action. Okay, so intention is an immediate action or plan to do something or an immediate action or plan of doing something. The same way here. How about number eight? Setting, exactly, setting goals means putting goals to yourself. To set a goal is easy. Setting goals is easy, but working towards them is hard work. Goal is something specific, something focused, something measurable you want to achieve in the future. And pay attention to the form here. We added the plural S because of exactly the plural object pronoun them. How about number nine? When he joined our company, he was young. And follow up, generally young people tend to be full of ambition. That's right. And ambition means a strong desire or a strong motivation or determination to achieve something. Number 10, the space of this meeting is to discuss how we are going to raise funds, to bring more funds, more money for the research. So your answer is exactly the purpose of this meeting. And the purpose is the general aim that you intend to reach. Okay? Four questions from 11 to 15. You also need to use the dictionary to study the difference between the five verbs succeed, manage, achieve, accomplish, and excel. Once you have finished, please continue to take the feedback. Number 11. I don't think Victoria has what it takes. This expression, what it takes, means the qualities. So, I don't think Victoria has all the qualities, had the qualifications to, how about your answer? Exactly, to achieve success. Achieve means to get something by effort, by hard work, or to bring something to a successful end. And we can use a noun after achieve, like this noun. We can use a noun phrase, we can say to achieve much success. We can use an adverb only to achieve much, for example. So if we use much right here, only much, this is an adverb. Okay, if Wayne, how about your answer? And take care of this part of the sentence, which is called the main clause. His parents are going to. There is a future expression here, going to. This is why the F clause should contain a verb in the, what tense? In the present simple, that's right. If Wayne succeeds, and this is F type 1, if Wayne succeeds, after the verb succeed, we can use N plus ING. Okay, if Wayne succeeds in getting into university, his parents are going to buy him a car. Okay, so succeed means to achieve something that you have been trying to do. It is followed by preposition in plus the plus ing. I don't think you are going to exactly to accomplish much or to achieve much sitting on the sofa all day. So accomplish means to complete something successfully. And we have already studied the verb achieve right here. So sitting on the sofa all day will not help you achieve or accomplish much. Right? Let's continue. Number 14. Did you? How about your answer? 
exactly did you manage to find someone to help you with your assignment? So you are finding it difficult to do your assignment alone. So he is asking, did you manage to find someone to help you? Manage is followed by to plus infinitive and it means to succeed in doing something, especially something which is very difficult. Okay, how about number two? Alison was never good at history, but she always at art and music. Take care of was right here. So the sentence should be in the past simple. How about your answer? How about the spelling? The form, take care. Yes, it's held. So this is a past simple and there is a double L for the verb excel. To excel means to be good at something. Okay, let's continue. Now, are you ready with exercise B? Okay, in this exercise, you will have four groups of words. These are the four groups of words and four nouns from A to D. These are the four nouns from A to D. Then what? You are going to match them to form collocations. You are going to match these words with these nouns. For example, are you going to say higher, physical, or private? Higher what? Higher school, higher education, higher course, learning, etc. So please pause, take your time, match the nouns with the groups of words to form collocations, and don't forget your points. Use a dictionary. Done? Okay, we can say higher, physical or private education. We can say chemistry course, boarding school, distance learning, okay, etc. You can note that we can use one word like language more than once. Language course, language school, a school for teaching languages, language learning. What you are doing right now is language learning. What I am doing is language teaching. Okay. Now, once we have formed these collocations, we are going to use them to do exercise C. So please try your best with exercise C. Okay. I think your task is clear in exercise C. You are going to complete the sentences from the collocations you have studied before. These are the collocations. Here you are the questions and some clues to help you. Please pause. Take your time. Now ready? Number one, as soon as Emma arrived in Berlin, she did a two week, your answer, a two week, Intensive course. It is intensive because it lasts only for two weeks. So it's not extensive. It won't last for a year or two. And because it's about the German language, we can use a language course. How about number two? How about the clue here? Keep fit and active. Your answer. Yes, physical education. And the acronym is PE is important for students because it helps them keep fit and active. How about number three? I've been considering space because the only university that offers the course I'm interested in is too far away. So the university is far away. This is why I need to think of distance learning. Excellent. Let's continue. Number four, when my father was young, he went to and he really looked forward to seeing his parents again at the end of the term. To see the parents only at the end of terms, it means that you are staying at a boarding school. Right. How about number five? The instructor at the made me practice my parking. So you are learning driving and so you need more practice on how to park your car before you take the driving test. 
Yes, exactly, driving school. How about number six? Most people choose to send their children to state school. State schools are funded by the state, so they are free of charge. Because what is expensive? Exactly, private education is very expensive. So again, you can use your dictionary to check the meaning of the other collocations, put them in your word list, put them in sentences of your own in order to enrich your vocab. Okay? Exercise D is very simple. You are going to complete the phrases right here with the verbs or synonyms in the box. So these verbs are only synonyms to the verbs used here. So to apply to Oxford University, it means to get into Oxford University. It also means to start Oxford University. You can also use, okay, pause here and think of answers and then take the feedback. Your answer please, number one, Yes, to enter Oxford University. How about to go to school or go to university, go to a seminar? Very good, to attend school, to attend university or a seminar. To take a course, to attend a course, it also means to sign up for a course. To study for a degree in architecture, it means to complete a degree in architecture, to get a degree, to have a degree, and also to do a degree in architecture. Okay? To quit, it means, yeah, to drop out of school. To quit school, to drop out of school. To have a degree from McGill University, it means to get a degree, a bachelor's degree, BA, or master's degree, MA. Number seven, from university with a degree in medicine, it means to graduate. Number eight, to finish studies, it means to complete studies. Okay, how about your points? Excellent. I keep reminding you to add the new words to your word list and put them in sentences of your own. Use them in your writing and speaking in order to enrich your language. Okay? Thank you so much for watching this video, which will be available on Microsoft Teams.